Good morning, saints. Please stand for prayer. Today is the feast of St. Leonard. St. Leonard, please pray for all of us, and especially for those celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to Temi Akinwinton and Jonathan Contreras. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, the world tells us that success in this life is money, power, or fame, but we know that success is humility, faithfulness, and charity. Help us to focus on the real good rather than the lesser goods we are offered. Together we pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you and give you thanks for the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Keep us accordant with truth and active in charity, as exemplified by our patron, St. Thomas Aquinas. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me as we honor our flag and country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, saints. Good afternoon, Saints. Welcome back to the Halo Midday Show. Today is Friday, November 6th. It's a candemic. Our canned food drive for Catholic Charities of Northeast Kansas is on track to beat our goal of 100,000. In three days, we have brought in more than 57,500 food items. Let's talk to Stuco moderator and candemic specialist, Serena Price. Mrs. Price, how can we meet and bet our canned food drive? So here's the deal for Monday. Uh, we need people to bring in random cans. Um, up until this point, we've been able to cash the checks and the donations that have come in online. But on Monday, we're not able to do that. The monies that are collected here from this point forward will actually just go straight to Catholic Charities. Kids will get points, two points for every uh, dollar that is donated. But to reach our goal, we need physical cans in the building. So that means if you have not yet participated if you have not brought a bag in, we need you to go find cans and bring them in on Monday to reach that 100,000. Thank you. Make sure to get those cans in, Saints. There, there will be a final tryout information meeting for boys basketball Tuesday, November 10th after school in the Ox Gym. Students, stop by the Alumni Bulletin Board located in the Counseling Office and check out two new Alumni Career Spotlights. The Alumni Career Bulletin Board is another way to connect with former SDA grads about career exploration. Networking and career exploring are great tools to gain information about fellow saints in various careers. Our Alumni Mentoring Program is another fantastic tool to use in career exploring. Want more information about Alumni Careers and Mentoring Programs? See Mrs. Schreiber in the Advancement Office. Students enrolled in College Now or Quick Step Plus through JCCC, listen up. The deadline to enroll and pay for your College Now or Quick Step Plus course is Monday. Look for detailed instructions in your Google Classroom and email. Teens for Life First Saturday Prayer to End Abortion is this Saturday, November 7th. We start at Nativity for 8.15 a.m. Mass. Then 9 a.m. we go to Planned Parenthood and pray the Rachel's Rosary, in which we pray for all those affected by abortion. And then, donuts. Come pray with us. See Mrs. Radel, Mr. Best, or Mrs. Loafman if you need more details. Saints, it's National Vocations Awareness Week. What does God have planned for your life? Pray this week that we may respond generously and with open hearts if God is calling us to priesthood, religious life, or marriage. Campus Ministry prays a decade of the rosary every day after school in the chapel from 3.05 to 3.15. Join us. All are welcome. Today's Saint of the Day is St. Leonard. St. Leonard is the patron of women in labor because his prayers are believed to have helped the Queen of France through a difficult birth and of prisoners of war, because the king was so grateful, he promised to release every prisoner Leonard visit, visited. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that while trying to find a cure for the HIV disease, the Mayo Clinic made glow-in-the-dark cats? Wow. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's Midday Show. We'll be back Monday with more announcements. I'm Emma. I'm Caroline. Don't forget, we'll find, we'll a, way find a way to, to make, make today great. great.